Hello, and welcome to my studio. My name is Laura Petrovich Cheney, and I live in Marblehead, Massachusetts. You're gonna tell pretty quickly by my accent that I am originally from Philadelphia. There is no doubt about that. So before I take you further into my studio, let me explain to you what it is that I do. I make wood quilts. I survived Hurricane Sandy, and amidst the destruction and chaos, and even after the death of my father, I started to make wood quilts from the scrap pieces of the homes ruined by the storm. I collected the wood and put them into orderly quilt patterns. I found this to be transformative work, and it gave me a great deal of comfort and healing in making these wood quilts. I am so lucky to have this studio above my garage. Let's take a look at some of my favorite pieces of equipment. So this is my latest acquisition. It's a table saw by DeWalt. I use it to cut my boards down that are the backing for my quilt. Next to the table saw is where I keep some of my wood up here in my studio. Most of it is cut down to fit into these milk crates so I can use it pretty readily. And over here in this corner is my desk. And this is where I do some drawings and uh, some ideas for my work. This one is a journal from 2015. Um, graph paper is key in my world because it gives me an idea of how big some of my squares can be and what it is that I'm doing. So in the middle of my space is my work table. This work table is four feet by eight feet. I acquired it when I was a fashion designer in Philadelphia. What you're seeing here are old fashioned irons that I use instead of a clamp in the middle of my work to put weight on it when it dries. And as you can see, I never throw any pieces out. You can see here under the table are lots of milk crates with pieces these are this is a box of triangles um i'll just go in here when i need triangles and, and see what i have um i have quite quite a bit of stuff here coming around the desk is some more pieces of wood some saws hanging up my bandsaw sander filtration systems, and around we go. And there's the whole 360 view. So my best loved piece of equipment in my studio is this really terrific jet bandsaw. Um, it's just one of my favorite pieces of equipment. So smooth and heavy. Um, I do most of the cutting here on it. It's a machine that I'm most comfortable with. In fact, uh, why don't we take a look and see how that operates with some real wood. So here I'm showing you how I cut the wood using traditional quilt tools and my woodworking tools. <laughs> Once I've finished cutting, I go back, recheck, cut again, sand, and there you have it. So here are some still photographs that I took of the destruction from Hurricane Sandy. It gives you a pretty good appreciation of how much wood I was able to collect during that storm. Hey everybody, so we're here in Salem, Massachusetts in my storage unit to answer two of the most popular questions that I get. The first question that I get is, am I ever afraid of running out of wood? And the answer to that question is no, I'm not afraid of running out of wood. And the second question that I get is, do I paint the wood? And the answer to that is absolutely not. I was 
fortunate enough to find so many wonderful colors in this world. In fact, let me show you some of them. Right here, I have this incredible orange. This was from a kitchen cabinet in Ocean, New Jersey. Um, and it was really great that I could collect all the kitchen cabinets that were this color. I have over here this huge ugh, kitchen cabinet with the door handle still on. It's a beautiful light blue, sky blue color. Um, here, picked up from Bayhead, New Jersey, was this incredibly lovingly hand-painted purple or lilac dresser top complete with the little trim on it. I mean, what a gorgeous color. I also have this dark green trim and I have this other kind of floor trim that's green. It has this cool little edge to it. I have over here uh, a purple and red and blue door. I have an orange side of a boat. Um, I have green floorboards. I have yellow siding. I have white. I have gray. And, and I have some really cool dark blue. Don't tell anybody. This will be our secret. But behind me, I have a police barricade that's a gorgeous dark blue. So as you can see, it's pretty obvious. I'll probably never run out of wood. Beneath my studio is my garage. And in the garage, I keep some more wood here so I have easy access to it. You can see here some floorboards and a variety of colors. There's a long blue panel. There's some yellow kitchen cabinets in the back. These are the long ones. I never know when I'm going to need long ones. It's a real pain to store salvaged wood. Ah, uh, this is, this is classic right here. Everyone always wonders, you know, what is it that I collect? This is a side of a, of a bar from Point Pleasant. So cute. Look at this. This is from a dresser liner, real old that I found. Here's some cedar siding. Isn't that nuts? Look at that, look at that hole. Some of it's in real bad shape. This is some inside paneling. You can see it's still got a hook on it. I'm not, I, I think for curtains or something, I don't know. You can see how it was just torn apart. Nails are still in it. So during this time of COVID-19 pandemic and the social changes we've seen with Black Lives Matter, I return again to the work of making wood quilts. The unpredictability of our lives forces me to look for possibilities again in rearranging squares and shapes into recognizable patterns of hope and possibilities. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share my space and life with you.